A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shrivastava, and somewhere in Rajasthan, yeah, it's the the best feeling is to drive your bike and then share uh, things with you, share knowledge with you, or share whatever I know with uh, like with you using this channel or the videos. It's it's the amazing feeling. It's it's really wonderful. So currently, like somewhere in Rajasthan, as I have said, the beautiful place, and especially if you are want to like travel to Rajasthan somewhere in August or September it's amazing man. so we are going to understand very basics of docker what exactly is docker and I had gone through a lot of like contents about the docker and what I try to put here in this video is to make it very simple for you and a lot of uh, students which I had came across they have a very a kind of a confusion be between what is the difference between virtualization and docker what is a container and how it is different from virtualization so let's move ahead let's put start the bike uh, and put it in gear one so let's start it so number one thing let's first understand what is a virtualization so virtualization means you have a hardware or infrastructure over the infrastructure it 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 will be a very heavy infrastructure like hundreds your ram and cpus you must be having blade servers with xeon processors and other things so that will constitute your infrastructure then you will be installing some hypervisor on it so hypervisor you can have like kvm or vmware esxi or Microsoft Hyper-V it doesn't matter then over your hypervisor you tends to build a complete virtual machine on, on it and every virtual machine will have its own operating system so we call it a guest operating system and then it will be consuming its own hard disk own CPU own your uh, physical memory then the complete OS goes onto it and then you install some application right so this is what you do so every even though I'll just try to make it simple even though you are running application like in app A consider app A as Apache running on Red Hat or CentOS app B might be FTP running on uh, CentOS or Red Hat so in both the cases the operating system is same but in case of the VMs you need to build a separate a full scratch virtual machine from the scratch that is what you you have to do so it might leads to or it generally leads to time wastage of time wastage of a lot of infrastructure because the operating system is same in this case so if not 90% then 70% of the libraries I am just installing it again and again I will try to give you a simple example here right so a example can be something like this a simple analogy can be this that I am driving this is not me obviously one guy is driving a big car alone that is fine he has got its own place but it's leading to a lot of wastage isn't it another example can be a independent house or your home it's beautiful home there is no problem in that but you have a lot of space wasted you have to do everything yourself you have to do the plumbing the electricity and everything the piping you have to do everything yourself it's a home a, a independent home can be considered as a virtual machine it's big it's beautiful but it is you're wasting a lot of thing it's a big house and you are living alone fine not good now how it is different from containers so containers is something like that that you have the same infrastructure you will be installing one operating system and over the operating system you will be installing the docker engine the docker engine will then be hosting multiple applications or we call it containers so a uh, comparison can be the same guy now I'm sharing my car with my friends right so proper use of resources I, I'm, I'm not wasting a lot of thing right one thing that you might have noticed is that this is a left-hand drive and that was a right-hand drive car so fine fine ignore it 
सो अनदर एग्जाम्पल कैन बी अपार्टमेंट अपार्टमेंट कंसिडर अपार्टमेंट एज अ कंटेनर सो यू शेयर द सेम प्लम्बिंग यू शेयर द सेम लैंड यू यू शेयर द सेम वॉटर टैंक राइट यू शेयर द लाइक कॉमन इलेक्ट्रिसिटी लाइक योर पावर ग्रिड्स एंड ऑल द थिंग्स सो दैट इज हाउ यू यूज योर रिसोर्सिस टू ऑप्टिमम एंड देन यू हैव द चॉइस ऑफ चूजिंग फ्रॉम अ स्टूडियो अपार्टमेंट टू वन बी एच के एंड टू बी एच के डिपेंड ऑन योर नीड दिस इज हाउ द कंटेनर्स आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ वर्चुअल मशीन आई होप दैट एग्जाम्पल विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू फॉर यू सो इफ वी गो ऑन टू द टेक्निकल थिंग्स द की डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डॉकर एंड द वर्चुअलाइजेशन इज दैट वर्चुअलाइजेशन वर्चुअलाइज एवरीथिंग योर हार्ड डिस्क योर सी पी यू योर फिजिकल मेमोरी योर ड्राइवर्स योर स्टोरेज सिस्टम योर लैंड कार्ड्स एवरीथिंग गेट वर्चुअलाइज राइट वेर एज डॉकर डजेंट मेक इट इट मेक्स थिंग्स लाइटर दैन वर्चुअलाइजेशन बिकॉज द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज सेम जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस एनालॉजी ऑफ द अपार्टमेंट्स you share the same land same plumbing same uh, uh, might be the same your uh, tv connections right it saves so virtual machine are the abstraction of physical hardware turning one server into many servers and the hypervisor allows you to run multiple virtual machine on a single physical machine so every virtual machine will include you should underline this and make it a note every virtual machine will include a full copy of the os the application binaries libraries it takes tens of gbs right at least 8 or 5 gb is required to run a uh, like a very minimal uh, size of a red hat or a centos vm and vm can be very slow to boot i hope you all have i like presume that you all have uh, experienced creating the virtual machines using tools like virtual box and stuff like that whereas containers are a abstraction containers take less space because they share the os they share the same kernel like apartments it uses less space barely in mbs so container is what understand this guys a container is a standard unit of software that packages up your code your application your dependencies and it moves fast it's a right it's a very a container image is a lightweight stand alone executable package so it's it runs fast and believe me it doesn't matter how much i will try to explain you in plain jargon avoiding the technical jargon but the best way of doing it is by actually doing hands on right the it's on the record that people will learn more by doing it rather than by reading it or watching the video so container images become containers at run time and docker containers are images so there are two major things that you will come across while working on the containers is that images and the containers so we will be going on on that don't worry about that and currently the scenario is that the docker containers are everywhere be it linux or windows or data centers or serverless computing you will find docker containers everywhere so you cannot afford to ignore the dockers so let's do it let's start doing it so the first thing that we'll be doing is let's install the docker right so move ahead please so let's it's it's a time to change from shift your gears from gear 1 to gear 2 move on guys so let's start and uh, let's try to install the docker on this machine so i'm running rels not rel sorry i'm ru i'm running centos here centos 7 is there so either you can choose centos 7 or choose rel 7 it's up to you so using centos 7 i've got a very obvious reasons to that i have a very ready access to the repositories and the updates that's the only reason so the number one thing that you have to do is to make sure that that number one thing the centos extra repository must be enabled so i can just simply give the command yum repo list and check it out Okay, just do a control C here and kill this process. Just very simple stuff. 
if you anytime get this error just remove the file and just give the command yum repo list so if i give this command you need to make sure that the centos extra repository must be enabled so that is one of the prerequisites before you install the docker so i am using or i am going to install docker community uh, like addition here or we call it ce not the enterprise addition which is ee right okay so once the package the repository is available the second thing we need to install the required packages first so again and as i am connected with the internet and everything is working fine so i can simply start with installing the dependencies like yum utils package is required the device mapper is required so you can install it right and the lvm is required so just make sure that these after setting up the repository these packages are installed so let's move ahead so couple of packages are coming from base repositories couple of coming up from updates no problem move ahead just do a yes that's the easiest way out obviously we have to accept the digital fingerprints right so now the required packages or the uh, the supporting packages are installed next thing that we have to use is to add the docker community edition repository so either you can go to the docker website and download it from here or i am just using the yum config manager so if you know this command it's a very simplest the easiest way to add a repository the only thing that you need to know is the url so i'm i'm putting a backslash here so that i can have the complete url coming up here so i give https download dot docker dot com slash linux slash centos and slash docker ce as i had already told you i will be using the community edition here so i you need to add this repository so make sure that your internet connection is available which is available in my case perfect so if i confirm it if i give a ll of yum dot repos dot d this is the repository that i have added okay next thing what next thing is that i hope you still re uh, remember about the edge and the test repositories so you you should enable the docker edge repository as well as the test repository so i can again use the yum config manager yum config manager hyphen hyphen enable and write docker ce edge so i'm enabling this repository perfect and once the edge is enabled you also need to have the test enabled so the updates and all the things from the test repository is coming so now everything is set up now the packages are there and all the things are set up the repositories are set up finally i can just do a dm docker c community addition this is the command which you will be giving so install it give yourself a time it won't take much so you won't be having much time here it depends upon your internet connectivity but it's normally it's done very fast so just wait a minute right so things are done so the docker is installed now it is yes so see that's it so the docker is installed or it is getting installed as you can see here wait for a while just breathe in and breathe out that's the only thing we can do and which and we should continue doing it honestly don't stop that there's a demon process which is running in the background thank god it works 
and it don't and it won't hang right so just wait yep won't take much but we need to wait here there is no other way out and I know it's been long since I had uploaded a video right so docker is installed I can confirm it by a very simple command docker ce or something like that or I can give docker but the next thing that you have to do is you need to start the docker the service is not still not running I can confirm it I, if I give system CTL status of docker it's not running right so you have to do a start docker and obviously to make it available after the reboot we all know this we need to enable it now if I give the command system CTL status docker it, sh it is available the docker D daemon is running right you can also get to know a lot of information about the docker by just giving docker info command this might be your first command once you the docker is installed so it tells you a lot about the application as well as the hardware on which it is running right this is these are the location the available space size the memory available on this machine a lot of things will be happening I'm running on CentOS 7 right though it's a VM it's a virtual machine it's not a physical machine but you get to know a lot of information about this so this is how you install your docker that's the first step that you have done what next what next we we have to do the docker is installed you can try running a very uh, like a sample like a repository but that will be doing later on the first thing that you have to do is just make sure that your docker is installed so once it is installed we can move forward right so i hope you must have done the docker installation now the second step is that let's start exploring docker how to work on docker what exactly are the containers how can we use it so the first command that you might be interested in seeing the version as you know that docker is a client server architecture so if, if you give this command docker version it will show you the client and the community and uh, the docker engine right the server and the client versions and information about them will be available that's good now we have a docker repository right this is a magical place where docker keeps all the uh, like the container images and all the things so by default your docker is configured to go to that particular magical location and download the uh, like images from there right so how can I try it so number one thing I can do is that I can simply give a command say docker search you can search for a particular image on that magical location known as docker hub so I search for say CentOS right so the docker client command the client command which I had executed will take me to the docker hub and will show me all the container images related to CentOS stored there and the ratings are also there the stars so, so consider them as the ratings which is most popular and uh, and the uh, feedback based on that so the, the stars are also there so you can search for it you can also do a filter uh, so let's suppose I don't want all the images I just want top five images so just give this command and obviously you know how to use it you, you can use the head the simple Linux pipes and check it out the top five or actually the four because the first line is the headers the f the top four CentOS container images available on docker hub is shown to you you can also uh, search based on the filters let's say I just want to show me all only the uh, like container images having say more than 100 stars so, so that means I'm not interested in seeing this right and anything which has got less than 74 stars 
so i can give the same command docker search i say hyphen hyphen filter equal to stars equal to say 100 and i say send to us see so only the images which are having more than 100 stars are available or shown you on the screen so that makes your search easier okay how can i use one so let's try to pull a image from that magical location known as docker hub so i say docker run or say i can say pull you you have an option here say pull i say hello world now see it it's pulling it it's downloaded right so if i give a command here docker images you will show this that this is the image which is already downloaded in your machine you can also use docker run i'll show it to you docker run hello world so it will actually run this container or this image what this container does how can we customize it we are not going to discuss it right it right now just try to focus on the major main things right see here because this image was there i had given the command docker run hello world so this message or whatever is being there in the image is being shown to you on the screen right so these are the steps which the docker has done because the image was locally available so i didn't get any error message for that so first the client contacted the, the docker daemon right and the, the second is that it pulled the image from the docker hub which i had already done and then it has created a new container and from that container i have received this message right so this is and the docker daemon had output it on the screen whatever it is so if i try to run or try to pull a run a image not pull run a image which is not available to me say 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 i go for search i can do a docker search so all the images sorry say i say fedora so it's going to search on the docker hub for these images so this is the official docker container fedora so let me try to download it now see the difference here i just write fedora now this image understand this image is not already downloaded it's not available it's not available i've got only hello world available right so if i give the same command docker run fedora see the difference it says unable to find it locally because it's not downloaded now it is automatically pulling it from that magical location known as docker hub it will take the time based on the size of the container or or the image though it's a big image so i should have used a small image but no problem let's wait so it's downloading it for me and then when it's downloaded it will be running the container will be running that's great extracting it wow there is no command listed there so if i see docker images here i've got the fedora available here so this manner you can download an image you can run a image particular image and any point of time you want to know about the options like say docker pull so if you are familiar with linux command which you should be then you know that, that there is a very simple option hyphen hyphen help to get all the options related to a particular command which you can give and docker images will help you see all the images which is available so this image is already with me I can try running it manually 
if it's not started automatically docker run hyphen i means i'm starting it in the interactive mode hyphen t means i will i want a terminal to interact hyphen hyphen name equal to give any name i say hello fedora so th this will be the name right and then i can give the name of the uh image and anything bin bash or whatever i say bin bash so i need a bash here let's see what happens right so i am now inside this fedora container see here cat at c i'll check it out red hat release it's fedora release 29 so this is a container which the shell is being given to me so now if you are familiar with Linux and, and you know how to work on it, you can do a lot of things there. But I'm not going to go onto that right now. So the objective of this video was to make you comfortable, download the Docker, get uh, understanding of the Docker hub, how you, you can see the images, the container images, how you, how you can download it, run it, and even move inside that container and do the job, whatever. So I'm just, ending it here in this video in the next videos we will be covering in, de in detail a lot about the containers and how to customize their networks and a lot of things so till then bye bye take care god bless